What's up guys? Welcome to My Line Misfits. So today's video is all about the body work on the 240. Uh, this is going to span basically from like last year all the way up until now. I have been doing constant work throughout the last year for the body work on this 240 and it's finally done. So you're going to see all that work in this video. I've got these OEM fenders that are in pretty rough shape. So I'm doing some body work on these. As you can see, the fitment isn't the greatest, but Hopefully after a little bit of body work and some adjustments, we can get that to line up. So I had to drill out this spot right here. There was a bolt broken off into that hole, so just got that new one in there. It's snug as a bug in a rug. Well, I was able to get the fenders on, having a hard time closing this gap here, but the bumper's on, it's pretty straight. Again, on this side, I still have a bit of a gap, but it's getting closer. All right, now that all the body work's done, I'm gonna wrap the fender, so. Finally got the OEM fenders on. This thing looks so much better with the OEM fenders. The fiberglass ones just fit like shit. So now I'm working on the hood. I've got some Fondo in some spots. I'm gonna sand down, try and get it all flat. Obviously after the fire it was a little warped, so I'm trying to work with that. But it's starting to come out. Time for some primer. Well, it's looking much more smooth now. Now with this filler primer, it should be able to get the rest of the uh, small imperfections out. All right, it's all primed. So now I just gotta wait until it dries and then I'm going to sand it down a little bit more. Probably throw a layer of paint on there and then, uh, then I'll wrap it. All right, it is a new day. The hood is primed and sanded down. It's not perfect, but it's good enough for me. I think it looks much better than it was before. So now I have the vinyl cut. It's just time to start laying it. All right, we're getting there now. Looks much better. Just got to trim everything up, fold it, and then uh, there's a couple bubbles I still got to get out. But wow, this looks so great. So now what I'm doing is I'm heating this fold here and then I'm cutting it so it looks nice. And as you can see, it's coming out pretty decent. Well, there we go. The wrap is all installed and it looks so much better. It's finally a full car again. Obviously, I've got the bumper up there. I can't install that because it's way too low and it'll rip off getting out of the driveway. But besides that, everything's back on the car and it's all wrapped. Guys, this is such an awesome day. So now the hood's on. Now it's time to replace the timing chain tensioner. So I've got that over here. So. Gonna knock this out and hopefully that timing chain rattle goes away. So it's all torn apart now, as you guys can see. So basically this guy right here is what we're replacing. So I'm just gonna undo these two bolts and then I'm going to swap it out with this new one. So that's just gonna go right there. All right, this one was very clearly worn out. So there's the new one in there, all installed, and I put some assembly lube on there as well. So that should quiet it down. Front cover's back in place, so now I'm going to get all the bolts in and button it back up. Oh, I've made a grave mistake. Fuck! Well, I thought it was a tensioner. However, after further inspection, 
it's rattling because it's not getting any oil pressure to the tensioner and uh, yeah motor has zero oil pressure so it's the gift that keeps giving I cannot catch a break with this car and honestly I think I'm just gonna sell it at this point unfortunately I I have a lot of money and hard work and time into this car but at this point I think my happiness is more important and this has caused me nothing but stress I am heartbroken over this shit, but I gotta, I gotta throw in the towel. All right, guys, this is obviously not how I expected things to go. When I first started hearing the rattle, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get rid of the two top tensioners on the KA that Nissan recommends getting rid of. So I did that and I still got the rattle. So I was like, okay, well, maybe it's the tensioner. So I was like, okay, replace the tensioner, get that done, and then the rattle should go away. Um, I was not expecting no oil pressure. That was a total shock to me. Um, basically what I ended up doing because my gauges don't work right now is I pulled off the feed line for the turbo and nothing came out when I started the car. So immediately I shut everything off. I checked the oil and I mean, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of flake in there. There was a little glimmer of it. Um, so the motor is probably a little hurt. Uh, luckily I didn't really drive it too much. Thank God. I just basically just drove it out of the garage and pulled it out and that was about it. Um, I left it running for probably longer than I should have, but again, I didn't know. So, you know, hindsight's 2020. Um, but there's a lot to think about here and a lot of variables to weigh. So at this point I am really considering selling it. Uh, I just don't think that it's really worth the stress that it's causing right now. I'm putting a ton of money into it and I've really been thinking about selling it for a while now. Um, it's just, you know, too much stress and too much work. And I really want to start working on the Corvette. I want to start doing more fun stuff to the limo, that kind of stuff. So, you know, I've got other projects and I just think that at this point, the 240 is just too much. But if you guys enjoyed that video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for future content. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.